In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Bay Laurel and the Above the Tie SSRH2 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. We have a good one for you today. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using Sterling Bay Laurel, and this comes to you for $8.75 for three ounces, and that is on our cost chart $2.91 an ounce, which is exceptional. This is one of the Black Friday offerings from Sterling. I'm not sure if they still have it, but if they do, I'll have it linked below. Very nice scent on this one. I'll put the scent description for you. For you on the screen right there bay laurel orange nutmeg cinnamon very very nice indeed scent strength is right at about the medium level and this is in their tallow base i'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there very easy to use no problem it's always smooth sailing with sterling and i look forward to using this today the razor for today is the above the tie ssrh2 and this runs 195 dollars stainless steel made in the u.s the, the blade gap on this is point uh, eight zero and above the tie rates this as eight out of nine in efficiency and don't forget if you make an order with above the tie use discount code IMCDB and you can save 10 percent on your above the tie order all right let's get into it today and thank you so much for joining me we're going to start by misting the face and I remind you as always the products that I'm using today if available I will link them below for you we will do two passes today it was a little bit difficult to make the lather with my hand here but you know, we, we pulled through it, we pulled through it. And here we go, we have a nice lather with Sterling, as always, and we're not gonna spend all day lathering because uh, it's kind of hard for me to lather, but I need to get this shaved. This is the way I start my day and I need to get it done. I need to be using my left hand more, but it's, it's really hard for me to do it. I've been trying to do it with daily tasks and any sort of lifting, and I've done it somewhat successfully, but it's difficult. But this one, it smells great, and I'm really looking forward to Shaving with it today. Sterling always brings a smile to my face. Super easy to use. Great people. Great people. And one thing about Sterling, they don't try to reach into your pocket and extract every penny. When they do an increase, it's rather modest. It's just enough to sort of make ends meet. And uh, I really appreciate that about Sterling. Their commitment to value is something that I always appreciate. All right. Very nice indeed. And let's set that aside. Let's get going with our Above the Tie SSRH2. Ah, oh, yes, and that feels nice. Good efficiency on this razor. You definitely get some blade feel. Now, keep in mind, Above the Tie has a lot of different plates, so you don't have to have it extremely aggressive if you don't want it. You can get their M plate, which is less efficient. You can get sort of the R plate, which is typically their medium sort of efficiency, or the uh, H plate, which is pretty efficient, as you can see here, and that just feels really nice, really smooth. Not bad at all. And I hope you're all having a great day so far on this Tuesday. I'm having a very good day myself, just really trying to start out the day in a positive way. And it is difficult sometimes, but you know, we push through it, persevere. The weather here, fortunately, has been fairly decent. It's been getting colder in the mornings all of a sudden, and I know uh, up home in West Virginia, it was like 14 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday, which is cold for this time of year. So kind of glad I'm not there because I don't much care for the cold. And that is like a January or February temp. That's typically not a almost April temperature, uh, 14 degrees. And they had snow as well, and I'm like, well, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sorry to be missing that. I am not sorry at all to be missing that because I just don't, don't care for that sort of wet weather, especially right now where it's supposed to be getting nice and things are blooming out, and you know we're we're coming back to life outside, and I really appreciate that. Spring and summer are definitely definitely my favorite seasons. 
Oh man, very nice razor. Above the tie has been making great razors for what now, 10 years or so? A long time, let's put it that way. And they're still doing it very, very well. And although they did have a price increase, it's modest considering that they've been charging 185 for, you know, 10 years. Uh, a $10 increase after all that time, not too bad. I'm not too mad at that. But some people, you know, the, the price increases have been just very dramatic. And with that, I'm like, no. <laughs> but above the tie is uh, tried to keep it reasonable, at least. And I certainly appreciate that about him. And I do love this uh, RH2 plate, which is open comb. You don't have to get open comb if you don't want it. Of course, they have a they have many, many different plates and many, many different offerings, aluminum razors, whatever you want, they probably have it. All right, and that first pass was very nice indeed. Let's go ahead and re-mist the face here, and then we'll get involved with pass number two. Not the most comfortable right now at the wrist, but we'll get this good shave, and then we'll get on with the day, and hopefully we'll heal up over time. I do not believe it's broken. I think it just had a pretty significant sprain. Doesn't really hurt unless I'm doing something bearing weight on it or twisting in a weird way or something like that. So it doesn't like throb or anything like that. It doesn't really hurt to squeeze it. But we're trying to be gentle on it, as gentle as I reasonably can be. The soap today, terrific quality as always. I always say, if someone tells you sterling isn't slick, walk away. Walk away from that conversation <laughs> because if you lather it properly, it will be slick. It will be more than slick enough. You get the hydration in there, it will be plenty slick enough. It will give you all the attributes that you need to execute a good shave. And then if you're really concerned about post, grab yourself a, a balm or skin elixir or whatever um, post shave product you choose to do that moisturizing for you. That's very important with you, you know, go with it. All right. We'll just do two passes today. And that feels fantastic. Nice and smooth. The blade, as always, is the Gillette Nasset. And that is nice and smooth, just the way I like it. The above the tie razors are well made, well crafted. Come from a very nice family of people as well, which is always nice. It's good to be supporting good people. You know, they're not snarky. They're not out there talking smack about other products. They just do their own thing. They're very humble, very down to earth. Just the type of people you'd like to have as your neighbor or something like that, you know. Very nice people. And Stan, of course, if you remember Stan from, he retired. He was a nice man as well. Just good old country folk, you know. Very nice people. Oh yeah. And their products have always worked well for me. I remember Above the Tie was one of the early razors that I had my eyes set on as a premium razor. So like, I want, a, I want one of those Above the Tie. I always thought the name Above the Tie was very cool. And, uh, well, the razors are cool <laughs> too. Not only in name, but they work very well. So I've always enjoyed supporting above the tie and they've been good to me as well and I really appreciate that. All right, very nice shave today. At least you can have a little fun during your day with your shave. Uh, that's how I do because, you know, later on it's fixing meals and breakfast and working and making sure everybody's taken care of. <laughs> so, a lot to do, a lot to do here, but you start out this day with a little bit of me time and I really enjoy it. Does this shave hurt my hand a little bit? Yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> Yesterday I got frustrated. I was trying to do a unboxing while I was at the supermarket and I couldn't get the cap off the top of the soap and that just, it, it really bothered me. You know, it was like, oh gee whiz. Cause I just did not have enough strength in this hand to either hold the tub so I could open it with my left hand or get it open. And uh, I sort of, you know, showed my frustration there. I apologize for that. It's just been a rough time, <laughs> honestly. But we're pushing through, pushing through. Just gotta keep on keeping on, as they say. 
All right, and let's finish it out strong here and get these last little bits. That was an excellent shave. Really can't complain. It's some of my favorite gear from some of my favorite companies here today. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stings, a super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Sterling Bay Laurel, and you can check my links below to see if this is still available. Wonderful soap, wonderful scent, wonderful cost, wonderful everything. I really enjoyed it. And we also used today the Above the Tie SSRH2, which is an absolutely fantastic razor. I always enjoy using Above the Tie razors. Very nice indeed. We used our Maritime Brush Co. brush, and it's sitting in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. And off cam, We'll finish up with the wet the face, the quiet man splash, because it's too hard for me to do it right here with the, with the hand on camera without being very clumsy. So thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.